Following a tradition originating with Plato and taken up by Plotinus and Porphyry, Iamblica spoke of a personal daemon, the overseer and leader of our soul, who directs the individual's life and acts as the fulfiller of the various levels of life of the soul. The daemon does not guide just one or another part of our being, but all of them at once and it extends to us the whole administration of us, even as it has been allotted to us from all the regions of the universe. Plotinus had earlier described the personal daemon as the power which consummates the chosen life, insisting that it is not entirely outside of ourselves, it belongs to us as belonging to our soul. Following this idea of the daemon as an intensely individual interior potency, Iamblichus in a letter referred to this divine being as the daemon allotted to each in life. The soul has only one ruling daemon in a particular lifetime. In order to fulfill its requirements, one must first recognize and develop a rapport with it. This can be fully achieved only through theurgy during which the daemon reveals his particular mode of worship as well as his name and teaches the particular manner of invoking him. The personal or guardian daemon is synonymous with the individual's destiny, the suprarational personality that controls the whole of our lives. Rapport with the personal daemon seems to be precisely what Jung intended in his invocation of Philemon. Iamblichus enumerated two means of discovering and experiencing this celestial intermediary who facilitates the unfolding of the destiny of the individual life. The technical method involves the natal horoscope, as the personal daemon was believed by most late antique astrologers to be reflected by the dominant planet at the moment of birth. The astrological significator of the personal daemon was given the designation Oikodespotis, or Master of the House. In Iamblicus' view, such technical methods of revealing the Oikodespotis are useful but inferior to true Gnosis. They operate on the merely human level and therefore involve guesswork and potential mistakes. Following the former, that is, theurgic procedure, one summons the daemon down from the higher causal principles, while according to the latter, that is the technical method, one resorts to the visible cycles of the generated realm or the natal horoscope. The former operates on a more universal basis, transcending the realm of nature, while the latter conducts its worship on an individual level, following the dictates of nature. Theurgic invocation of the daemon thus reflects its archetypal or universal nature, while its representation in the horoscope reflects its expression in the particular conditions of an individual life. The two methods can be combined. Revelation of the daemon through theurgy can sometimes be achieved through meditation on the images associated with the planet signifying the oikodespotis. Equally, the planetary suntemata or planetary symbols such as a specific flower or gemstone may be helpful in the ritual work, as these suntemata, in Iamblica's view, are like other natural symbols, divine tokens that the gods have embedded in the world of form.